This is an ABC 15 breaking news report. That breaking news involving an emergency in a Southwest flight heading to Phoenix from Houston. That flight was forced to turn around and land in El Paso after the smell of smoke broke out on the plane. Chris Ennis of Cave Creek was on that flight. And Chris, walk us through what happened here. You started to smell smoke and then what? Yeah, they, uh, uh, we started hearing, or we started smelling the uh, smell of smoke uh, coming, coming from where we, uh, and there we couldn't really figure out where it was coming from, but uh, uh, it got stronger. They came over the, uh, came over the, the speaker and told us that uh, uh, we were going to make an emergency landing in El Paso. And Developing right now, Phoenix police responding to this video here. Shows an officer arresting a teenage girl. You see him running after her and then just slamming her head right into that concrete wall. That officer, Patrick Larison, is a six-year veteran of the force, and he's now on administrative leave during an investigation into that use of force. Just before the arrest, police tell us the girl was fighting with a parent in the school parking lot. The fight happened back in January, and this video was posted two months ago, but it just came into the department's attention within the last 24 hours. The girl faces aggravated assault charges for fighting with the teacher. Well, we've also just learned that the officer here, Officer Larison, could face charges himself. We have a crew getting answers from Phoenix Police right now about this video. We'll update you as soon as we get the newest information here. Phoenix police working a murder mystery tonight after two bodies were found in a West Valley home. Investigators are still trying to answer the question here. Was this a murder-suicide or did they both die at the hands of somebody else? ABC 15's Tim Betcher live tonight near 31st Avenue in Northern. Tim, what are you hearing from neighbors out there? Well, frankly, Steve, they don't know if the shooter is among the dead or if that person is still out there. I can tell you a lot of people tonight are anxiously awaiting the answer. When the man who lives at this house got a call from his wife, her. A man is in critical condition at this hour after being rescued from Camelback Mountain. This is an update to news we first brought you at the top of four. It happened in an area known as Castle Rock. That's on the south side of the mountain. Phoenix Fire tell us this hiker fell and banged up the side of his body pretty bad. He was flown out of the area within the past hour. Right now, a developing story unfolding in Chandler, in a Chandler neighborhood here. Investigators searching a home after finding a drop house. ABC 15's Corey Rangel is live at that house. Corey, I understand investigators found this house based on information they received from across the country. Just yesterday, someone from Florida tipped them off. Investigators did some digging and found the home tucked away in this unsuspecting, relatively new Chandler neighborhood. A very unusual break-in at a Best Buy store this morning. Phoenix police tell us a man and woman literally cut their way into the electronics department near I-17 in Thunderbird. They used a saw cutting a hole into the side of the building. They were caught loading up $28,000 worth of merchandise into their pickup. Police were alerted by a silent alarm. Officers now tell us Judith Gallagos Yabara and Gabriel Sanchez are charged with commercial burglary. In a change of heart, the White House has decided not to release photos of Osama bin Laden's body. There are going to be some folks who deny it. The fact of the matter is, you will not see bin Laden walking on this earth again. A statement read there straight from the president himself. He decided the graphic nature of these pictures of bin Laden's corpse were just too likely to incite violence against U.S. troops and American citizens abroad. In the meantime, the raid on Pakistani soil that nabbed bin Laden it has seriously damaged our relations with that country. Adding to that, CIA Director Leon Panetta told lawmakers on Capitol Hill today, Pakistan was either involved with bin Laden or just incompetent. I think it's important we find out whether the Pakistanis had knowledge of Osama bin Laden being located where he was. Also today, U.S. officials say they've uncovered some new and intriguing facts in this case. Bin Laden had dyed his beard and was ready to flee at a moment's notice with 500 euros sewn into his clothing. Count on us here for the very latest on this huge story right on ABC 15 and ABC15.com. A man is fighting for his life at this hour after a bee attack in Phoenix. It happened last night near 32nd Street in Van Buren. Firefighters you see there say this man was stung thousands of times by a swarm of bees, numbering around 100,000. They say this guy was just walking down the street when they, these bees attacked him, swarming him. Firefighters rescuing him by covering the bees in foam, killing them. 
There may be yet another delay in the launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. That would mean more waiting time for Shuttle Commander Mark Kelly and his wife, wounded Congressman Gabrielle Giffords. She plans on returning to Florida once this launch is rescheduled. NASA says the problem here is a switch box which was removed from the Shuttle Endeavour. It has a blown circuit in it. And that repair work is taking a little bit longer than expected. NASA currently is targeting a launch for next Tuesday at the earliest. Endeavour was supposed to blast off last Friday. $21 million, that's how much money is now on its way to Arizona State University and the U of A. That's all because of a new broadcasting deal for the Pac-12 sporting events. Sports Director Craig Fui here joining us live now. And Craig, uh, the big question here is how do ASU and the U of A plan on using this $21 million? Bucks? It will hardly be a rush to, sp to spend, spend, spend. I don't think, I think we will operate with a conscience relative to our economy and with an eye on protecting the future. And I think if we don't do that, we're very naive in our approach to this. Pet owners, this one's for you. Veterinarians say it's one of the most underdiagnosed life-threatening conditions for dogs. What happened to Scarlett here and why her story could save the lives of more pets? So how did these new applications end up on my cell phone if I didn't download them? I'm ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey with the answer and the concern they could be tracking your moves. The decision to cross this flooded highway here nearly cost a 93-year-old woman her life. Who came to a rescue and how they were able to reach her before it was all too late? All right, here's something sweet. Let's just call it trading books for barbecue. Joe's Real Barbecue celebrated its annual customer appreciation day today. How? Well, by giving away free barbecue, of course. This year, Joe's teamed up with Loving Through Literacy to accept book donations. The organization helps fill and fund libraries around the world in areas that usually don't have them. So tasty food, go grab yourself a snack and help kids read. World News Diane Sawyer is coming up next. We'll be back at 6 o'clock, and don't forget to make abc15.com your homepage. Have a good night.